What's up, guys? After 1,675 days, divide that by a year, four years and a half, maybe a little over than that. I'm going to go ahead and put down this game and quit Endless Frontier once and for all. If you guys didn't notice in the last video, you know, I wasn't really too into it, not really following what's happening in the game, and it's just really repetitive after, you know, over four and a half years. So this is going to be my last Endless Frontier video ever. I'm not really going to revisit the game. Another reason for that is, is the top people in my alliance, the, the co-leads and some of the elders went ahead and told me that they're going to also quit the game and said, are you going to come with us? You know, are you also going to quit the game? Or are you just going to, you know, try to keep the guild running? And I was like, hey, man, if you guys are leaving, you know, one of the major reasons for me to continuously play this game for these four over years are the relationships I made within this game. Shout out to everyone here. I mean, and the other reason, of course, is all the viewers here that really catapulted what is YouTube for me for Endless Frontier. Honestly, it's it's kind of insane that if you Google Endless Frontier, bam, in Google search forever, anecdotal will pop up. When when Endless Frontier is typed in, that's that's crazy to me. That's you know, I could I could only thank you guys from the bottom of my heart because i mean i wasn't even thinking about doing this you know and there, there was a point where people were like commenting you're my favorite youtuber i'm like for endless ones here for an idol game really that's insane what me <laughs> oh yeah but before i do that of course i did have to do some some managing because right after this video at the end of this video I'm going to uninstall the game. If I go back in, I might go back into like a habit that I've had for, you already know, over four years of actually playing this game. Can't, can't do that, can I? So, yeah. Shout out to everybody up here in the top. A couple of people like Cheesy Bob are, are people that are familiar. Hero also is very familiar. Well, at, at some point, I think it was Hero where we were going to have like uh, like a video where I would come uh, talk to him. Like we'd have like an interview style thing where we would talk about like what it took to be number one and what kind of crazy like struggles uh, there is with being like a number one player. But uh, yeah, that, that never really panned out. I think I ended up going on vacation whenever that thing was happening. And then, you know, all the craziness occurred uh, after that with uh with you know already know what happened in 2019 to 2020 but yeah so first i had to go ahead and fix everything with the guild now if you don't know sharp swords is the guild that i'm in now and before that uh we were in server seven dark archers i believe and whatever the first guild i joined was called milky way and it was a horrible guild where we were waiting for whoever the leader was that was super inactive to hit the 30 day mark so that one of the new elders could then end up becoming the leader i think it ended up hitting another elder that was also completely um inactive and then we had to wait again for for the sort of cycle to continue for somebody else to become a leader and i think it either ended with me somebody named jake that quit the game a long time ago or Rackus, and we were like the three core people of that no-name alliance and we like tried to raise it to the top to be a top 20 alliance which we did <clears throat> and then uh from there we ended up merging during a server merge we went ahead and i think that's when we just joined sharp sword and then ended up there forever where there was like a lot of heads now i don't think there are a couple of people that didn't agree with everyone else um, I, I don't even remember what it was, but at the end, everything for the most part got sorted. Everyone was still super active and we, we ended up doing a lot. And dude, we've been playing this game for so long that some of the people in here, like one of them, uh, was in school to be a doctor and is now an actual doctor practicing medicine. That's insane. You know, a couple of people were were like in college and have now graduated college with adult lives and a job 
That's insane. Some of the people that were watching my videos while I was going to school, you know, had families. That was the big, like, you have no idea how crazy uh, or how many things Endless Frontier has actually opened up to me just because I decided to click record one day and put it on uh, just to show my alliance or my guild uh, about guild wars and guild raids. And while I was doing it, I was like, well, I don't want to make it so specific to just like these two or three people. Let me do it to whoever watches. And like from the very first video, I think somewhat blue that didn't really blow up but like for someone that's done nothing it was a very successful first video if you scroll all the way down i think it has maybe like a thousand or five hundred views something like that that's it's a lot for like a no-name video that has zero thumbnails that's crazy and if you're wondering what's happening this is just going to be me talking about it looking through my account and and just reminiscing on what ef was and and the effect that all of you guys you viewers had on uh with me and on me and, and kind of just going through playing the various game modes one last time even airship mode which <laughs> on the time it came out i did not care to play it i i dismissed it as like not really ef because i mean look at it, it it's not and, and now it's like a staple of the game like if you don't play airship mode man you you are missing out and for me I did not play it for a while that it came out. I was like, oh, it's kind of annoying. I'm trying to do runs. It kind of gets in the way of that. Why do I want to beat these other stages? And then they finally added the like complete now thing where you don't actually have to run those stages manually and such. But yeah, it, it was it was a lot. I still remember, uh, what is it? When when the game mode first came out and everyone was like, yo, come out with a video on uh, airship mode. And I was like, bro, I know nothing about airship mode. I, I will just... You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and see what it is. And I didn't know how to build a ship. It was hilarious. And people were just like, bro, it's right there. Upper right says build. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> Somehow, you know, just completely new UI for me, I guess. And I had no idea where build was. It was insane. It, it was absolutely crazy. Uh, now we have equipment that we can go ahead and equip. So that's also something new. But I believe I went over equipment and all the new things, like all the things that I missed. I think that's what I titled the video, all the things that I've missed uh, in EF so far. And then also talked about uh, whatever new units I ended up missing out on and all that stuff. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and, and do that. We're going to go ahead and attack. We're going to probably put equipment on people for absolutely no reason because I'm going to leave the game literally right at the end of this video after i clicked record the last thing i'm gonna do is is do a voiceover on the video and i don't know if you all hear it with the original ef sound yeah man that's right <laughs> it's it's gonna be here now very calm relaxing thing uh that really annoyed the people i live with <laughs> like, what is this opera what, what are you playing what is this thing is this weird classical music not bad actually it's been a long time since i actually played the game with volume but yeah, also crazily enough, because uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all that stuff, um, at the time of the video recording that, that's, that's going on right now is happening. And I'm also gonna retire this phone and get a new phone. So a whole lot of things are gonna change, uh, not, just, not just getting rid of EF forever, but also the phone that who knows how much damage EF has done. Shout out down below for anyone who knows the struggle of of overnighting <laughs> skill pushing that probably set my phone back who knows how long to, to get that skill push to end up being able to level up overnight it, it kind of seems ridiculous that we did things like that, that that we went to sleep put it on uh whatever that like sleep mode thing where everything was black where it just kind of climbed stages that's crazy i'm so glad that's that's not something people need to do anymore in this game but there, there are still some games that that make that a thing. That if you want to do really well in the game, that you want to be like ranked high, you don't want to get left behind, that you need to overnight farm, like auto overnight farm. And the whole thing that you need to do is just leave the game on and not do anything. Like, it, it's a ridiculous thing that I don't think I did for a very large like portion of, of EF. But at some point I decided to do it like once a week or or once every other week or if I was really into it once every three days. It was insane. But it definitely was a waste. 
if I ever really had to like do something or get up, there, there are times where like my phone wouldn't have charged because it was on and somehow EF, even though it's not super taxing, would like turn off the phone. It, it was horrible. Uh, so yeah, that I like I, I just didn't do it on days where I knew I had like things to do. It would always be some sort of a weekend where there was no reason for my phone to 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 be used as an alarm clock. But yeah crazy times it was an end of an era when skill pushing actually ended for auto skill pushing which thank goodness that ended up becoming a thing dungeons woo, dungeons yo remember when we decided uh or what we talked about the actual store on the last tab where you would actually spend gems to unlock having more dungeon material or having the 30 percent medals or the the fairy skip that can be purchased there insane but these are the artifacts that i have now all started way back in the day with like four star artifacts talking about what you can get in the alliance or the guild shop whoa we've come a long way we've come from all the way to like discussing four stars so what are we now are we on 10 20 those big do those big stars represent five or ten we're either on 10 or 20 i feel like it's 20 but who knows yeah i think that's seven right so then so then we're on we're on 10 then i think so that's the other thing about stars before before this big star concept where that giant star was equivalent to like five or ten they would all just be a whole lot of little stars where my eyes were in no way able to count all of them and that just was what it was it, it's insane i don't know why they did something like that but that is what it was and it, and look at the, look at it now, man. <laughs> it all started with for me the the elf meta. Even though in the very beginning I decided to uh, just use the Valkyrie team because that's the first honor unit that I was able to to get. And then like a week or two later, it was already replaced. Like the same time Hippo came out, Valkyrie was also there, I believe. And then right after that, uh, Sword Dancer came out, so it was there. Uh, that's right around when I decided to start. Uh, playing and I think I started making videos all I know is that it was sub 100 maybe I was like low level 40s maybe which I think if I started to play the game again like now for the first time I could probably hit level 40 in like a matter of days actually probably one one or two days max <laughs> because I know everything now it's it's probably not gonna be super difficult the other thing really, um, if you're if you're considering quitting a game, not necessarily Endless Frontier, just any other game, the amount of time uh, used up on this game, like imagine if I was doing something else, like I'm already like working out, you know, I'm already like went to school, you know, already working, but you know, let's say you're not doing these things, Let, let's say you're, you're, you're putting considerable or considerably large amount of time doing this what else could have you been doing if it's any of those other things even it's just like you could have food prepped and you could have ate better food it, it's insane so after i quit well i didn't necessarily quit metal slug infinity it went ahead and shut itself down because not enough people wanted to play it probably and um the licensing for the game ended up going away and they didn't obviously want to repurchase it because it didn't make any sense economically probably that's just my guess out there but since the licensing was gone they had to shut down the game and then with that out of the way i was actually only playing three games which was endless frontier marvel future fight which is a game i don't really make content over it's just a game one of the first games i've ever played on mobile and just continuously played the entire time uh, actually played it longer than endless frontier and the new game i'm playing which is my hero academia the strongest hero which i'm probably going to make this channel into it's going to be a my hero academia the strongest hero type of a channel where i'm mostly going to cover that game and probably other games so the when the when the guildmates hit me up the co-leads the elders about what we're going to do we decided like yo let's just play another game together because that's the thing this endless frontier isn't just like a game that we played it's also a game that we played collectively so uh we were in the process of like finding a game that we're gonna play i think it ended up being mystic heroes i still haven't down i think i downloaded it but haven't actually played it yet which is a different type of idle game i don't think too many of us are actually trying to play another idle game we've kind of done this you know we've mastered it for like over four years some people have been playing longer 
and man it's been so much like it's been one one crazy ride fighting all these other alliances doing doing our thing trying to get certain pets uh leveling up competing with each other there was a point where we were giving each other prizes uh based on growth people were actually in in the guild in a google spreadsheet that was shared to just pri privately to us how many levels we gained uh like a week or a month and we'd have a breakdown and for those of people that were free to play that we ended up seeing large gains you know like gave them a few bucks so that they could get like uh the three dollar weekend deals that's that's how cool we were with each other that's for me i've never done that in a game i've never thought let me give somebody three bucks that we only know each other specifically through a video game that's insane to me and that's the kind of like level of relationships that that we had that we had so shout out to the original ogs rakis and jake who ended up departing early from the squad i don't know if anyone else was there completely from from the og like milky way spot if you for some reason are watching this video for some reason after years of quitting <laughs> decided to type in Elm's frontier uh, and, and had this video, the very last Endless Frontier video ever that I'm going to make, which I don't know how popular it's going to be, because from what I hear, the game is also actually dying on Discord. Uh, they, they're like, um, they're not happy with the direction of the game, which kind of makes sense because as a veteran player, so am I. Like, I'm not really seeing a difference. You know, thanks for everything, for joining, for staying for, for all the weird conversations that we would have that was outside of the game and somehow related into the game. Craziness. Craziness. Back back when we actually thought about what we would do uh, for our raid teams. Before everything was set in stone. Before metas were just things that people told other people and we had to kind of like figure things out or not know you can go somewhere to get the answers. When we struggled to do Tower of Trials... And I, I think I had like a weekly thing where I would complete Tower of Trials uh, and make like all these cut videos because you only have five tickets at a time and they were like 30 or 35 stages. So I would like beat those five and if I would lose, I kind of keep it in there. If I lost too much, I'd probably uh, edit a little bit of it out because it would kind of get boring and for the most part, everybody wanted to see solutions. When I did those, bam. And by the way, for I think it was the 10th honor units was the very first time I actually put in thumbnails and I think it was one of also one of the most successful Endless Frontier videos as well was when I actually started doing thumbnails there was a point where my audio was trash horrible audio hopefully this one isn't because I'm not accustomed to using the in-game music along with my actual voice so hopefully here everything ends up okay uh, but I just thought for the nostalgia and for the very fact that it's going to be the last video that instead of doing like some cool vibey thing that I would usually do actually, you know, pay homage to the game by actually using the in-game uh, sounds. So that's that's why that's there. But yeah, doing TOT, that was insane. Figuring out how to beat those things. Uh, one of the videos that I decided was going to be, well, at least I thought would be one of the best things ever, was this one, like, headache trial with Golem that was almost impossible to beat, that you needed, like, seven Warlocks and, like, a certain amount of Orc Hunters or some combination, like, four or three of each or, or vice versa. And I think I called it, like, the headache of TOT or, like, the Advil for, for, the, for that TOT. Seriously, for me, I thought it was one of the greatest video <laughs> videos ever but for this idol game man one that isn't ridiculously popular one that's so niche that just some person that decided to create a youtube account for no reason and make a video of it ended up getting like over fifty thousand views on a video quite a few over 30k that's crazy at one point almost every video and it's not like i really care about views but uh it does show that people care there, there was a point where, like, easily, no matter what it was, at least a thousand people would tune in with, like, the amount of people that decided to actually not just watch but like the video was, like, over 30%, which is insane. That That's crazy to have that much. And also, like, so many people commenting about random things. 
or like when is this update video going to come up and at some point i almost felt responsible i mean not almost definitely did <laughs> where i would actually play endless frontier more to be more of a pro to have more like mastery of the game uh be shown by my night level you know to to actually have like more of an authoritative voice on on advice because i've actually done it because there are a lot of things where it'd be like you know i'm not really sure all right let me go find out you know what let me find out for myself it was it was a lot especially with all these pets at this point though there's so much <laughs> there's so much sort of stored up for years of knowledge where i just kind of forget stuff man uh like I, there was one where it was a whole series on why specific pets mattered which was really big for me because i wasn't sure why certain pets mattered and the whole reason i thought it'd be a good video is because i didn't know and i thought other people probably would want to know and at the time there definitely weren't as many pets there were definitely a lot of units but just no, nowhere near to the scale that there is now and it was really difficult to kind of tell how you know whether someone's good or not because skipping became a thing right around when i started playing like fairies were there but then hippogriffs came and that really made the elf meta shine before that i don't really know what the meta was because i wasn't playing the game i just really like valkyrie and and the meta was range the very fact that it could like throw those boomerangs really really far and they had you know self buffs and you know ally buffs so people thought sorcerer might be good too and then like i know that there was a point where uh, ninja of darkness was was like the best thing but i wasn't there for that i didn't play at that point so it's insane shout out to the other youtubers that were out there uh man i forgot what this there, there was this kid's name had to be like 14 he talked about going to camp or something uh i know he bought like a a yeti microphone i have yet to buy a microphone by the way <laughs> i still just talk into my phone guys uh <laughs> Ended up buying like a microphone and doing all this stuff. He, he was a really chill dude. Never actually uh, talked to him, but I know I commented a couple of times in his, his videos. There's another guy that um, he wasn't he, like his first language was in English. I think it was all German named Ice Crystal Gaming or Crystal Vice Gaming. Shout out to that dude. There was a point where it was just me and him. We were the only Endless Frontier uh, YouTubers or people who at least covered Endless Frontier and I think he came out with a thumbnail once and so did that kid and i was like oh oh no oh everyone has a thumbnail now and it like there was like a uh, sort of an unspoken sort of thing where i was like oh if everyone else is doing it then i have to do it then i like downloaded all these apps trying to figure out how to do it uh just quick thing about me man i didn't really have a cell phone until probably the beginning of high school like, I, I didn't think cell phones would even be a thing. I thought, like, dude, if I'm hanging out with friends, why would I need a phone to hang out with the people I'm already hanging out with? That makes no sense. So, like, for me, like, when it comes to the technology side of things, bro, you best believe whatever amount of time it took everyone else to make a thumbnail, just multiply that by three for your boy here. Even if it was just a screenshot and trying to figure out how to get the fonts. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out the colors and stuff <laughs> oh man you know what you, yeah you have no idea some of them are horrible stretched out images because i had no idea how to maintain the actual structure of the of the image uh because i did it on my phone man uh there, there was a time where i was trying to transition from doing it on a phone to a laptop there was a lot of growth but also my lack of skill <laughs> the games of technology really hindered the progress of what the videos could have looked like there, there was uh there was times and it took like so much time to put like a background like i, I know crystal vice gaming was killing it with the backgrounds man some of it was a little too much for me but just the fact that it was done was like amazing right for me if i can't do something it, it's hard for me to say if it was not the not the best you know because if you can't do it how can you judge so for me man this dude killed it when it came to when it came to backgrounds and all these little sort of technical things he did talking about that let's look at the artwork something no one does in endless runs here is actually look at the artwork of these characters uh there was a point where when honor units came out all i did was just kind of make fun of the way they looked or talk about how cool they looked along with along with their skills 
because it really does bring a character to life. And for some of them, I never, I only look at their actual small little icon and never thought to click on the magnifying glass to see what they actually look like. Now, I don't think that magnifying glass always existed, but it's there. But yeah, to all the other uh, YouTubers out there that covered EF and uh, to somebody who was actually said that they were inspired by me and wanted to make their own YouTube and tried to do EF for like a month or so. Uh, I don't know, man. Feel free to pick it up again. The, there's a vacant slot here, bro. Anybody that wants to go ahead, do it. Yo, you have my blessing, and I will watch you. Uh, I will, I will Google, uh, I will go on YouTube, click Endless Frontier, and uh, look at the recent uploads, and hope that someone went ahead and picked up the mantle, man, and did something with this game. I still think it's an amazing game. I wouldn't have played it for over four years if I didn't think so. But it's just enough for me. So. As far let's go ahead and look at these human units. These are one of the new ones. Half fish, half fire. Definitely not something you see every day. So that's actually pretty cool here. This classic, classic swordsman, man. Of course, having some key energy out there, pointing out to where they're going. And then our newest one, which is as clickbaity as it can get. <laughs> With a crying emoji looking face and everything. Really cool. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some elves. Yo, there's something about sorcerers, man never want to play them in the game high dps zero health easily destroyed but something about the way they look is always really cool this is just you know whatever it's a butterfly <laughs> can't say much about that pretty cool pixie always green as i noticed with the with the fairies they definitely stuck with their colors same thing with sif here or the druid and here astral captain for real one of the strongest for real for real one of the strongest units in the game uh, at least as a standalone character this medusa looking thing or or ursula looking thing is cool this probably has to take the pick man you just can't mess with the way people do undeads they just always look so cool the detailing for like undead units so cool if they actually had a game uh definitely not arena i couldn't get into that one but if they could only come up with a game where they could actually use these 2d like looking characters and actually have them do something or even try to somehow make them 3d where they do something it'd be so cool this looks ridiculous <laughs> this looks ridiculous what are those like pea shooters that look that's ridiculous man is that i always thought he was shooting out feathers oh man let's look at the classic drummer here oh man but up up on pum you uh hilarious just hilarious and this guy the horn okay pretty cool not bad not bad but but 100 percent coolest looking one right here man looks like the uh the ice guy from bleach i don't know what it is about water or ice type uh casters they're always cool that undead people you just can't mess with it almost anytime someone has like ice that's that's also okay but nothing compared nothing comparatively oh you know what's actually funny you know what game is actually kind of having a resurgence Clash Royale, isn't it funny to see what Hog Rider, <laughs> what Hog Rider looks like here? <laughs> oh man, oh man, no, I'm gonna stop. Himazarian, dude, I remember not knowing how to say his name in videos, and I was like, I hope this is the way it is, and that's the way I say it now. <laughs> Ooh, let, let's not forget, probably one of my favorite updates, one that just makes everything simple, uh, and in a way, kind of goes like, listen, um, we understand our game is complicated. Take this to help you is this update right here. The unit guide lets you know the percentage of everything. Uh, that way you know if everything's 100% complete. The only thing you don't know is which one's more important than the other. But for that, man, you have a whole list. <laughs> a whole list of over four years of content from your boy Anecdotal here that you can go ahead and check out. If you're still actually watching this video, uh, go ahead and comment down just your favorite update, your favorite moment, your favorite video, anything really about EF that you want to say. And, yo, I really do just appreciate you guys watching. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> crazy that, that you guys have stuck with me for this long or stuck with me at all. J just the whole fact that just some random dude that decided to make videos on an idle game that wasn't just launched. I don't think it had like a huge uptick in volume. We we completely eclipsed 
the actual did you know that there's an actual channel for youtube uh on youtube for endless frontier like there's an endless frontier channel completely eclipse them on on views and on subscribers that that's that's insane to me like oh if, if only they, they did like live streams and so like oh man but that's like th who would have thought who would have thought something like that like you guys made this game what it is it was all of you you guys watching you guys commenting you guys creating guides you guys creating all these other like all these really smart cerebral type people making things creating like pictures and uh, charts to make people better understand the game. That's insane, man. So shout out to the Discord community, which I wasn't really that a part of, but uh, the official EF Discord, that is almost, oh, it, that's always, not almost always, ever since I realized that it existed, was always in the description of almost all of my videos, I think. Like, I don't think you could find one that isn't, but just in case, to cover my bases, almost all of them, <laughs> once it first started, was always there. Um, well, once I created a Discord, the only reason I have a Discord at all is for Endless Frontier. That's how sick it was. So, uh, there you go, man. Uh, also for some of the crazy people on Reddit that do this as well. But yeah, man, remember when that was a team? When that... <laughs> Yo, alright, so, uh, Semel? Seminal? The, o the only captain you'll ever meet that's lower level than everybody else. That's, that's crazy, man. Seumul, crazy crazy co-leader highest level always dalius he came up seth seth ended up matching me at some point and then overtaking me it's it's crazy how how these alliance mates where they once were to where they are now some of them you know sp speeded up their progress by paying a lot of them was all the time that they took but here man i just want to give a a quick shout out to everyone here that i'm clicking on yo <laughs> You guys made the alliance what it is. Look at this. Skevy? Svik? Well, however you say your name, man. Never knew how, but man, did I, we talk every once in a while. Man, it's it's insane. All the things we've done. And you can see, man, how, how active we were. How many guild points we all did. All time. How much we've done for the alliance. It's a lot. It's, it's an incredible amount of how much work we've all put in uh, to end up being from a top 20 alliance to like top 14 to top 10 so i think we ended up maxing out right around six six or seventh like we we teetered around that edge of being sixth place sometimes and seventh place sometimes and um like it was really the fact that we were like a team of of high volume like we didn't have super high night levels like people we didn't have ridiculously huge whales we were just a consistent group of people that consistently were active and attacked and that's what made us strong so there are a couple of alliances that try to like cheat the system by having like five people all whales beating everybody but nah that's that's not how we did it but yeah man still retiring not being super active probably in the last year or so of playing the game as a top player man easily one of the top players in the server and hopefully at some point one of the most influential hopefully i don't know oh man so there you go man the very last spirit run the very last revive kind of messed it up because i was i was doing uh airship mode and kind of lost track there talking about all the units talking about all the times that we've had together talking about the alliance mates talking about where we all came from talking about the four years and a half plus that have passed like hey man when you first watched this video the first ever video that you've ever watched from me to now how much has the life changed for you man where were you four years and a half ago and where are you now and it's crazy man still top 150 140 top 140 player that's crazy and here definitely wasn't free to play man this was one of the first games where i actually put in money because it was so small man all i had to do was like there were they, they were i it all started on spending one there was a like a one dollar weekend thing 
and then I found out it was every weekend that was three dollars so it wasn't special but since it was sm such a small amount I was like ah whatever let's just do it and, and getting those you know those quick honor coins and such it was great also sometimes I just felt like I really needed to review stuff and I don't uh, yeah, I don't think it was until like a year or so when everything was kind of popping off that I decided to monetize the channel. If I decided to do it before, <laughs> where where not only where like Endless Frontier was actually having uh, a bit of like popularity, where it was like really popping off, who knows what could happen? <laughs> yeah, man. But uh, yeah, I just decided not to, man. You know? Ooh, get that last W. Make sure to play every single game mode first. But yeah, man, if you're struggling, man, if you're thinking about quitting, not just EF, but any other game, I would say just give it a week, man. Just just put down the game for a week. Whether you feel like checking in, logging in, just don't. Give it a week, man. Just one. And see if you actually feel like playing. Because uh, I did, and I totally don't, man. That the 30 or so minutes that we would have to do for revival the the, the need to attack like I, at some point i wasn't finishing tot because i didn't feel like come like going back into the game so many times uh within the like it felt like it was three days i don't know how long tot actually lasts i've always felt that it was a week but i think now that it was like three days because i've always been able to finish it on like the first day or the second day because how constantly i've been on but yeah give it a week don't play the game for a week you don't need to uninstall it. Just don't play it for a week and see how you feel. If you feel like you were doing a whole lot of more productive things <laughs> because you weren't playing for that week, you know, maybe just uninstall the game and do whatever you were doing in lieu of the game, whether it's EF or anything else, man. Uh, for a guy that spent like a whole lot of money, man, like I definitely didn't make back any freaking like money. <laughs> None. <laughs> so, yeah, man. I have no idea how much I've spent probably in the low hundreds I would say over the, I mean over the course of like four and a half years though so like let's say it was a hundred per year probably not you know what thinking about it maybe less there was definitely some Black Friday deals that I might have gone ham with where I think the most I've ever spent was like 30 at one time and then after that I'd be like all right there are a couple weekends where I'm just not gonna do anything then like there there has to be a certain amount of time because that's just too much like like, I was like, that's a whole game, man. 30? Like, now, sure. Gate, like, there, 100 could be, like, a game. But, like, back in the day, <laughs> you know? Back in those PS2 days? Back in those N64 PlayStation days? Yeah, man. $30 was, was a whole new game or maybe a good used game. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Once again, shout out to everybody here. Look at that. That 8 was for server 8. But I'm pretty sure I came from... I'm pretty sure I came from 7 which was originally Dark Archer. I don't know if that's 100% true, because that was a whole four years ago, but shout out to everybody, everybody in the Alliance, everybody that's watching just any video, even if this is the only video that you've seen of me, shout out to you. Once again, let's quickly do some maps, go into the roulette, that became my, my outro thing, just to see how my luck went, because uh, I really needed those trans tickets. Usually that's the thing I was always hoping for or the the hard version of spirit highland, which is actually something I would still need also Quitting the game without fully finishing out all these pets man Don't let that be something that hinders you from leaving a game The fact that you didn't like accomplish this one goal that once you quit the game doesn't matter Like one of my friends left the game at level uh, 599 So yeah, thank you for everything And goodbye